Hi, in the last class I gave a brief introduction to different types of motors, motor configuration and the working principle and constructional aspects of motor, right. Now later I gave you the different types of motor, special types of motor and also the basic type, also the motors, their mounting methods and the accessories required for successful working of a motor. Now in today's class, we are going to solve few numerical problems related to motors. Let us solve the first problem. Problem 1. An hydraulic motor operating at 75 bar pressure has a volumetric displacement of 175 centimeter cube per revolution. Full stop. The motor runs at 2000 rpm to deliver a torque of 175 Newton meter, comma, while using a flow rate of 375 liters per minute, full stop, determine the volumetric efficiency, the mechanical efficiency and the overall efficiency, also determine the actual power delivered by the motor. So, this is the problem statement. Let us solve this problem on the board. So, as usual, let us list down what are all the given. So, given is a motor a generic motor, he has not mentioned the type. So, the first parameter given is pressure, pressure is 75 bar. So, P is 75 bar. So, you know that 1 bar is equal to 10 to the power of plus 5 Newton per meter square, right. Now, along with that, he has given the displacement volume. V d is equal to 175 centimeter cube per revolution. So, you have to convert that into meter cube per revolution. For that, you just multiply by 10 to the power of 3 meter cube per revolution. So, if you want to convert this centimeter cube into meter cube, you have to multiply by 10 to the power of 3 meter cube. Right. So, along with that, he has given the applied torque as 175, 175 Newton meter, applied torque 75, 1 meter and uh, the theoretical or the actual discharge is equal to 375 liter per minute. Okay. So, speed is 2000 rpm, 2000 rpm, speed is 2000 rpm and uh, we need to find out the following parameters that is the mechanical efficiency, the overall uh, efficiency of course, to get that volumetric efficiency and power. So, all these we need to find out one by one. So, first thing what we do is as we do for a motor, the first thing what we have to do is we have to find out the mechanical efficiency, then we have to find out the volumetric efficiency. If you combine these two, you will get the overall efficiency and finally, the power rating, right. So, first let us find out the mechanical efficiency. The first thing you are going to find out is mechanical efficiency. So, mechanical efficiency. Mechanical efficiency is given by the formula T A by T T in terms of torque. T A by T T whole thing multiplied by 100, applied torque to theoretical torque, actual torque to theoretical torque, right. 
So, the actual torque and theoretic torque we need to find out. So, how to find out this one? So, we know that the actual torque is according to the formula the actual torque is how much 175 Newton meter. So, how to find out the theoretical torque? So, to find out the theoretical torque we have the equation theoretical torque is equal to P into V d P into V d divided by 2 pi P into V d divided by 2 pi right. So, if you put this here directly what happens the theoretical torque equation you can write that as P into V d P into V d divided by 2 pi. So, 175 into 2 into pi divided by P into V d. So, this is equal to 175 into 2 pi divided by P is how much? 75 into 10 to the power of plus 5 into V into D is again 175 into 10 to the power of plus 3. Of course, you have to multiply this by 100 to get in percentage. Okay. So, after multiplying this mechanical efficiency, you get 83.3 percent, 83.3 percent. Mechanical efficiency is equal to 83.3 percent. Right. So, after calculating this, the next step you have to find out is volumetric efficiency volumetric efficiency, volumetric efficiency, volumetric efficiency. So, how do you calculate volumetric efficiency? Volumetric efficiency is calculated as, volumetric efficiency is calculated as Q theoretical by Q actual into 100. So, the volumetric efficiency for motor, please understand for pump it is different, for motor it is different. For uh, motor it is theoretical by actual, for pump it is the reverse, right. So, we have to find out Q theoretical by Q actual. So, Q theoretical as you know that is equal to V d into n. So, Q theoretical is equal to V d into n. So, you come back. So, V d n by Q actual, right. So, you substitute the values. V d is how much? 175 into 10 to the power of plus 3 into n is 200, 2000 rpm, right, divided by Q actual 375 liters per minute, 375 liters per minute, right. So, 375 liters per minute. So, we have to convert that into what centimeter cube per minute. So, that is why you have to multiply it by 375 into 10 to the power of plus 3, right, meter cube per minute. You know the re relationship between liter and meter. So, one, one liter is equal to 1000 meter cube, right. So, we can put this 375 into 10 raise to the power of 3, whole thing multiplied by 100. So, whole thing multiplied by 100. So, carefully you have to check all the uh, units and then you have to solve make sure that the units available in the numerator 
are homogeneous and the with respect to the units available in the denominator. So, after checking this you can uh, get the answer as 93.3 percent. So, volumetric efficiency is 93.3 percent. So, we have calculated mechanical efficiency and we have calculated the volumetric efficiency. So, I will write down the answer here. I will write down the answer here. Shall I write? I will write down the answer here. Right? So, the answer, uh, okay, here answers. So, just now you have calculated mechanical efficiency. Mechanical efficiency is 83 point 3 percent. We have calculated volumetric efficiency 93.3 percent. So, overall efficiency, how to calculate overall efficiency? overall efficiency. How to calculate overall efficiency? The third important unknown overall efficiency. Overall efficiency is the product of volumetric efficiency into volumetric efficiency into mechanical efficiency, right. So, directly you can multiply these two 83.3, 83.3 into 93.3 in terms of per percentage, you get that as 6.5 and whole thing multiplied by 100 the whole thing multiplied by 100 because you are. So, after multiplying this the overall efficiency is 78 percent, overall efficiency is 78 percent. So, you can write the overall efficiency as 78 percent, right. So, the last one is the power delivered, power delivered. So, power delivered. How to calculate the power delivered? So, power, power, power delivered or the output power is nothing but power is equal to 2 pi n t by 60. So, this is will be in kilowatt, right. So, what is t? So, t theoretical, right. So, you enter the value 2 pi, n is rpm, how much? Uh, 2000 rpm, 2000 rpm, t theoretical. So, t theoretical we have, we have to find out the t theoretical. So, to find out t theoretical, we uh, know that it is sorry t actual, t actual, this is to be t actual. So, t actual is 175 into Newton meter whole thing divided by 60, right. So, 2 pi into 1000 into t theoretical, right. But If we found out this equation, uh, if we apply the actual torque and calculate, so that is not uh, the uh, correct uh, way, you will get the torque which is, see this for equation there are two possibilities. Uh, to calculate power, shall I take 
T theoretical or T actual. So, this decision you have to take. So, if I take T theoretical, I will get more power. If I take T actual, I will get less power. So, the power rating will reduce. While designing your motor, if you take the actual value, always T actual will be less than the T theoretical. So, if you calculate the power rating, so power will be less. So, in order to overcome that, you better find out and uh, put T theoretical, T theoretical, right. So, for that, you can find out T theoretical, how to calculate T theoretical. So, the normal formula for T theoretical uh, is uh, P V D, P V D divided by 2 pi. So, P is how much? 75. Actually, we have calculated, once again we are calculating. Right. So, you have to put this value here. So, once if you put this value here, so you can get the answer. If I call this as 2 pi n, sorry, uh, let me put the value. 2 pi uh, 2 pi into speed is 2000 rpm rpm and uh, divided by 60 and this is 75 into 10 to the power of plus 5 into 175 into 10 to the power of plus 3 divided by 2 pi right simplify everything right so 2 pi 2 pi gets cancelled and uh, so if you simplify you will get the answer so this will be in kilowatt 43.7 kilowatt so power delivered is 43.7 kilowatt so, this power rating is based on T theoretical, not T actual, right. So, this is how you need to solve the problem step by step, right. So, the answer, final answer power is equal to 43 kilowatt, right. So, first we, we should know what is the path that is overall efficiency. To calculate overall efficiency, I require two parameters, one is the volumetric efficiency and then mechanical efficiency. So, to calculate overall efficiency, uh, to calculate mechanical efficiency, I require T theoretical and T actual, right. So, this is the plan. So, I require T theoretical and T actual. So, if you have this road map, you can easily calculate the parameters. This is called as the decision tree. So, you should have a decision tree. So, overall efficiency can be calculated if you know volumetric efficiency and mechanical efficiency, right. For calculating mechanical efficiency, I need, I need to know the actual uh, torque and uh, the theoretical torque. What about volumetric efficiency? To know volumetric efficiency, I need to know the actual discharge to the theoretical discharge. So, this is the road map how to calculate, right. So, using this I can solve the problem. So, before solving the problem, just have a road map like this and then start solving the problem. It becomes easy for you. Now, let us move on to the next problem. The problem statement is an hydraulic motor has 82 centimeter cube 
volumetric displacement full stop it has a pressure rating of 70 bar and it receives oil from a pump having 0.006 meter cube per second theoretical flow rate full stop fine number 1 motor speed number 2 theoretical torque number 3 theoretical power so this has appeared in one of the vtu question paper so let us solve this problem on the board let us solve this problem given hydraulic motor the first parameter given is the volumetric displacement vd is equal to 82 centimeter cube per revelation so it is as advisable to convert that into a millimeter cube right so if you convert that into millimeter cube it is very convenient to solve because the pressure we can convert that into newton per millimeter square so you have to just multiply it by 10 to the power of plus 3 it becomes millimeter cube per revolution right so the next parameter given is pressure 70 bar 70 bar is equal to 70 into 10 to the power of plus 5 newton per meter square so meter is again not con uh, compatible so let us make it to 7 into uh, what 7 newton per millimeter square so you need to know the conversion from bar to newton newton to millimeter right so newton per millimeter square or 1 mega pascal so the third parameter given is q theoretical so q theoretical is equal to 0 0.0006 uh, meter cube per second meter cube per second so it is convenient to convert that into centimeter cube so to convert that into centimeter cube so 0 0.0006 into 10 to the power of 6 centimeter cube per second so this is convenience so we need to check we uh, all the units are having the same uh, what equivalence that is we can have millimeter cube per revolution right we have 7 newton per millimeter square and again we have this one centimeter cube per second right so we can use this and this we can use uh, this and this i will tell you how, how it is useful right so what we need to find we need to find the speed the motor speed followed by theoretical torque how much and finally the power what is the power delivered so first thing is the motor speed motor speed we know that q theoretical is equal to v displacement into n right so q theoretical is uh, how much this one 0 0.0006 into 10 to the power of plus 6 the unit is in centimeter cube per second is equal to so we can see here 82 directly it is in centimeter cube per revolution and multiplied by n right so if you calculate the value of n so you will get as n is equal to 7.31 revolution per second please understand here it is revolution but we want to convert that into rpm so you have to just multiply that by what 60 multiply by 60 because 1 minute is equal to 60 second right so n if you multiplied by into 60 will result in 440 rpm so 440 rpm so the speed of the motor is equal to 440 rpm so here the only thing here is the centimeter to centimeter we have to balance we, we have to see that it is homogeneous equation is dimension is are homogeneous now the second thing is theoretical torque theoretical torque 
theoretical torque. So, to find out theoretical torque, we know that theoretical torque is equal to P into V d divided by 2 pi. These equations you should they should be in your fingers. So, you should recall these equations fast, right. Theoretical torque is equal to P into V d by 2 pi. So, we can put that pressure. So, pressure is in 7 watt bar or we can directly put that into 7 into volumetric displacement is 82 into since let me put the units 7 pressure is a pressure is in again 7 Newton per millimeter square volumetric displacement I will take 82 into 10 to the power of plus 3 millimeter cube per revolution millimeter cube per revolution. Let me write it properly 7 into 82 into 10 to the power of plus 3 millimeter cube per revolution. Again you have to check that the millimeter and millimeter millimeter cube and millimeter. So, millimeter and millimeter are there divided by 2 pi. So, if you do that you will get the torque as 91355 91355 Newton millimeter or if you want that in the 91.35 Newton meter. So, this is the theoretical torque, right. So, let me write down, write down the answer. So, N is 440 rpm, the theoretical is the torque is 91.35 Newton meter. So, last we need to calculate the power. We need to calculate the power. So, power how to calculate the power? To calculate the power, we know that power is equal to 2 pi n t theoretical, 2 pi n t theoretical. So, let us substitute 2 into pi into n found out is 440 rpm, right and t theoretical is 91.35 Newton meter or 91.35 Newton meter, do not take Newton millimeter, right. So, if you want to use this formula, n should be in revolution per second, t should be in Newton per meter. So, I have taken care of this, right, but this is rpm, it is in rpm, I have to convert that into rps. So, I will divide that by 60, right. I have to divide that by 60. So, if you divide that by 60, you will get 4552 watts, watts, but I want to convert that into kilowatt. So, divide that by 100. So, divide by 100. So, 4552 divide by 100 divide by 100 multiplied by 100. So, watts. 
So, multiply and divide. So, this is equal to how much? 1 kilowatt, you simplify 45.52 kilowatt is the power. So, why did I solve this problem is this because in this problem, the, it is a mere substitution, but the thing lies here is the dimensions. We need to see that the dimensions are similar, particularly the linear dimension meter. So, sometimes we require meter, sometimes we require millimeter, sometimes we require centimeter. So, make sure that there is some dimensional homogeneous in the equations. So, with this, we will can move on to the next problem. So, let us solve the next problem, that is problem number 3. The statement of the problem is like this, an hydraulic transmission operating at 70 bar pressure has the following characteristics. So, one side there is pump, other side there is a motor. So, motor is always driving the pump. So, volumetric displacement is 80 centimeters cube, volumetric displacement is you have to find out. The volumetric efficiency is 82 percent, here it is 92 percent. The volumetric efficiency of the uh, mechanical efficiency is 88 percent, mechanical efficiency is 90 percent. Speed is 500 rpm for pump and speed is 400 rpm for motor. So, using this data you have to find out displacement of the motor as well as motor output torque. So, we are combining two problems, motor as well as pump. So, pump I have solved in the last class, right. So, this type of hybrid problem may appear in the exam. So, it has appeared twice. So, let us solve this problem on the board. So, we have two important pump motor, right. So, the first parameter given is V d that is volumetric displacement. So, volumetric displacement for let me put this volumetric displacement, volumetric displacement is in centimeter cube, right. For pump it is 82 and for motor it is you have to find out, okay. So, the volumetric efficiency in terms of percentage, it is 82 percent and this is 92 percent. So, this is 82 percent and this is 92 percent, right. So, the next parameter is the mechanical efficiency in terms of percentage, right. You get 88 percent for pump and 90 percent for motor, right. So, speed in rpm, the 500 rpm for pump and 400 rpm for for motor, right. So, you need to find out the displacement of the motor, the displacement of the motor and uh, the motor output torque. So, you have to find out the displacement of the motor that is V d and you have to find out the motor output torque. the motor output torque, right. This is the information given, right. So, we need to solve this problem, right. So, if you draw the diagram here, how things work. So, you have a motor, We have a coupling, 
right. So, coupling is ignored. So, let us make it a direct drive. So, let us not put a coupling directly we will we can connect we net we can connect it to a pump right so this is the pump so motor is there pump is there right so motor is driving the pump right so this is the diagram right so let us find out the displacement of the motor. Displacement of motor V D. Displacement of the motor V D. We know that Q theoretical for pump is equal to V p into n, right. So, since we want that in the so displacement will be meter cube per second, meter cube per second. So, can we find out for pump what is the value? So, can we substitute V p is how much? 82 centimeter cube, 82 centimeter cube. So, 82 centimeter cube is nothing but 10 to the power of minus 6 meter cube and uh, the rpm is 500 rpm multiplied by 500 rpm divided by 60 right so we get 6.83 6.83 into 10 to the power of minus 4 meter cube per second so this is qt pump so the vertical discharge form pump. Now, Q actual pump. So, let us find out Q actual pump, right. So, Q actual pump is found out by volumetric efficiency. We know that volumetric efficiency is Q actual by the volumetric efficiency is Q actual by Q theoretical. So, Q actual pump by Q theoretical pump, right. So, Q actual, I will designate that as A, designate that at A or Q actual pump is equal to volumetric efficiency into Q theoretical pump, right. So, Q theoretical pump. So, volumetric efficiency is how much? 82 percent. So, 0.82 multiplied by 6.83 into 10 to the power of minus 4. So, we get how much? So, Q actual pump, we, we, we get 6.83 is equal to 5.155, 5.155 into 10 to the power of minus 4, sorry, 5.6 into 10 to the power of 5 point. Five point six into ten to the power of minus four meter cube per second. So this is how we got. So this is how much Q actual pump. After finding out Q T and Q actual, right? Let's next find out the 
q theoretical for motor right so q theoretical motor so for q theoretical motor we have q actual pump q actual pump into volumetric efficiency of the motor. See volumetric efficiency is equal to q theoretical by q actual, right. We know that q theoretical by q actual, right. But the output from the motor is the input to the shaft, right. So, for that reason we have taken this as q actual. So, q actual from the pump is equal to q actual to the motor, right. So, based on this equation we can calculate this as q actual pump is how much? Q theoretical Q actual pump is 5.6 into 10 to the power of minus 4 multiplied by volumetric efficiency of the motor. So, volumetric efficiency of the motor is 92 percent. So, 0 0.92. So, finally, you will get the answer as 5.155. 5.1 5 5 into 10 to the power of minus 4 meter cube per second. So, this is q t theoretical m right. So, this is the uh, q theoretical to the motor. Now, we can find out the displacement displacement by using this equation right we can find out the displacement of the motor. So, displacement of the motor is calculated like this. Displacement of the motor is calculated like this. Can uh, We can write this as uh, same equation we can modify. So, displacement of the motor. So, you can we can use this same equation. So, in place of this I can make it as motor, motor, right. So, I will modify this equation, right. So, I will put the value, right. So, Q theoretical motor is 5, 1, 5.155 into 10 to the power of minus 4. It is better to write the units along with the numericals in order to prevent any non dimensional homogeneous, right. So, V m we have to find out, V m is in obviously meter per second displacement of the motor into speed n is what? What is the end of motor? 400. So, motor is 400. So, this is motor. So, 400 divided by 60, right. So, if you do that, simplify, you get the displacement velocity of the motor equal to 77.3 centimeter cube. So, this is the first. So, if you do that, you will get V m is equal to 77.3 centimeter cube. Next, we have to calculate the next parameter motor output torque 
motor output torque that is T suffix m. We know that we have the general equation of power, power is equal to power is equal to q into p, power is equal to q into p, where p is the power. So, let me write that power in words, power is equal to discharge into pressure, right? power is equal to discharge into pressure. So, we can use this. So, how to use this? So, let us take actual, right? Actual of what? Q actual of what? Of one motor, of motor and to pressure. So, pressure is important. So, we need to find out the pressure. So, pressure in the problem, he has given the pressure at P is equal to 70 bar. In the problem statement, he has given pressure at 70 bar, right. So, you can substitute the variables. So, Q actual motor. So, from the previous Q actual motor is nothing but 5.6. We have calculated that 5.6 into 5.6 into 10 to the power of minus 4, 10 to the power of minus 4. Answer uh, uh, the units is uh, 5.6 into power of minus 4 meter cube per second, right, into P is 70 bar, 70 into 10 to the power of plus 5 Newton per meter square. Please check the answer. You will get 3920 watt, 3920 watt, right. So, we get 3920 watt. So, before proceeding, this is not the power. So, this is the, there are two types of power. One is the power developed by the source, that is the indicated power. And next is the power developed by the output shaft, that is the brake power. So, we need to find out the brake power. Brake power is the output power, right. So, brake power, to calculate brake power, So, this is the indicated power. So, you have to find out the brake power. So, the brake power is in kilowatts, if you want, it is nothing but the power here, that is the power developed by the motor multiplied by two efficiencies. What is that? Overall efficiency, volumetric efficiency and mechanical efficiency. So, what I call it as the overall efficiency. So, of the what? Of the motor, right. So, this will consider the volumetric efficiency as well as the mechanical efficiency, right. So, let us redefine this power is equal to 3920 watts into overall efficiency is nothing but product of volumetric efficiency into mechanical efficiency. So, 3920 of motor, of motor, right? 3920 into 0.92, 0.92 into point 0.9. So, we get answer as 3246, 3246 watts. 
three two four six watts, three two four six watts. So, motor torque, motor torque, motor torque, motor torque is given by motor torque is equal to brake power divided by motor speed. Motor torque is equal to brake power divided by motor speed that is 3, 2, 4, 6 divided by motor speed. So, speed of the motor is 400 rpm, 400 rpm. V p is equal to sorry this uh, let, let us uh, write the formula first and then we will simplify V p is equal to motor torque 2 pi n t by 60 right. So, V p is 3 2 4 6 divided by 2 pi into n is 400 r p m into torque, motor torque we need to kind out, right, divided by 60. So, you get the motor torque as 77.5 Newton meter, right. So, finally, you have found out what is the volumetric displacement and the motor as well as the answer. Volumetric displacement of the motor and the please specify, do not generalize and write volumetric displacement of motor and motor torque. Motor torque found out just now 77.5 Newton meter and VDM is 77.3. 77.3 cent meter cube per second. This is the answer, not per second, it is just displacement, right? Meter cube. So, I think we have kept uh, completed the problem. So, this problem is a very unique problem because we have to integrate the data between pump and the motor. So, you need to have this figure in your mind. So, it is a direct drive, direct drive means the motor is driving the pump, no coupling is here. So, we have solved the problem like this. So, I hope you understand this problem. With this, we come to the end on problems of motors, right. So, Problems on motors are asked in the exams, so care should be taken in solving the problems because formulas are very simple, but while substitution students make lot of mistakes especially in terms of units. So, please write down these formulas and alongside you open the bracket and write down the units. Make sure that the units on the left hand sides are same as the unit on the right hand side. It was a wonderful experience for me as I have gone through the journey of this fluid power engineering by covering two important modules, module 1 and module 2. As a gratitude, I have to express few important things. One is the reference. So, I have taken lot of contents from these reference books. So, I need to acknowledge the same. So, I have included their name in the content. So, some of the standard textbooks which I have referred are Fluid Power with Application Antony Esposito, Oil Hydraulics by Majumdar, again Pneumatic System by Majumdar SR. So, these textbooks are very useful. A student can find all the content in this textbook as per. Also, some reference books are requ required for this subject. Industrial Hydraulics by John Pipegar, Hydraulics and Pneumatics by Andrew Parr Jaiko, 
Fundamentals of Pneumatics by Festo, Hydraulic Control System by Herbert Merritt John and Introduction to Fluid by Thomson. So, all these textbooks will cover 100 percent syllabus. Finally, last but not the least, my lecture would have been incomplete if I do not give acknowledgement to YouTube, resource, YouTube web resource. So, from my bottom of the art, I acknowledge YouTube channels, various web resources I have taken for enhance the learning process. Thank you.